Earth 8311 is a Marvel Universe populated by anthropomorphized animals and, more interestingly, the home of the amazing Spider-Ham. He made his debut in 1983's Marvel Tales with an AI. I see what you did there. This led to a bi-monthly series called Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham, published under Marvel's Star imprint, and I'd get a bunch of comments if I didn't mention the 2018 animated movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which was based on the Spider-Verse storyline from The Amazing Spider-Man back in 2014. Comic Drake and I did a video on this way back in the day, link below. Marvel Tales also featured Captain America Cat and Goose Rider, among others, as Spider-Ham attempted to foil the nefarious plot of the Marauder, leading to the creation of Hulk Bunny. Later on in Peter Porker the Spectacular Spider-Ham, he faced off against Doctor Doom and defeated his army of living super vegetables. Spider-Ham also once traveled to the Marvel Zombies universe, was on Battle World during Secret Wars, and was one of the six web slingers that made up the original Web Warriors. Earth 67 99 and Earth 67 are both Marvel universes based on the 1967 Spider-Man cartoon, the show that spawned a million memes. In fact, this whole video is memes. The official handbook of the Marvel Universe named Earth 6799 as the actual place where the 1967 Spider-Man animated series takes place. However, during Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, they do a scene that reuses footage from the episode Double Identity. Yes, the pointing meme episode. There, they use the designation Earth 67. Despite Nick Lowe and Dan Slott saying in interviews that this was the same universe from the 1967 cartoon, both the appendix of the Handbook of the Marvel Universe and Spider Gideon Handbook No. 1 clarified to Earth 67 is different but similar to Earth 6799. So which one is for sure the universe from the show? Whichever one you want it to be, I'm not your dad. But Earth 6799 was first, so that one. According to the official Handbook of the Marvel Universe, Earth 58 Seven Zero is the home of the infamous 1986 movie from Lucasfilm, Howard the Duck. Yes, the one with the topless duck. I'm not going to show it, and you're welcome. In the movie, Howard is accidentally beamed from Duck World, a planet of intelligent ducks, to Earth, a planet of intelligent apes. Well, I say intelligent, but never mind. Howard, a champion of quack foo, saves Marty McFly's mom from some thugs, and while they don't date, the movie does a weird will-they-won't-they they sort of thing between a duck and a woman. Marty's mom introduces Howard to a scientist played by Tim Robbins, who attempts to return Howard to Duck World, but instead transfers an evil spirit into his own body, as one does. <laughs> Could've happened to anyone. The product page on Amazon calls it one of the most talked about movies of all time, and I'll cop to that. Heck, you can buy it with the affiliate link below, if you dare. There was also a comic based on the movie, but they made enough changes that it's listed as a separate universe, dubbed Earth 58472. In the official handbook of the Marvel Universe, they laid out a lot of alternate universes, from comics to TV shows to movies. By far the strangest of these was Earth 70974. So in 1979, there was a Flintstones spinoff called The New Fred and Barney Show. It aired as part of an animated package called Fred and Barney Meet the Thing. It contained one 30-minute Fred and Barney cartoon and two 11-minute segments of The Thing. Despite the title, the two never crossed over. In this incarnation, The Thing is not a member of the Fantastic Four. Instead, Instead, he's a teenager named Benji Grimm who can turn into the thing at will by connecting two rings, one on each hand, and yelling, THING RING DO YOUR THING! This was, of course, made by Hanna-Barbera, but back then Marvel Comics owned the rights to several of their properties and even published comics based on them. It's not available on DVD or any streaming service, though I did find one site claiming to sell the non-existent DVD set. You can, however, buy just the new Fred and Barney Show episodes digitally on Amazon. Three years before Garfield brought bad jokes and relentless attempts to be relatable to Sunday morning newspapers, Heathcliff was already bringing terrible jokes to newspapers nationwide. Created by George Gately in 1973, Heathcliff was a street smart cat who was kind of a jerk, honestly. This is a pretty stark contrast to Garfield, who much like his human counterparts, hates Mondays, loves to take naps, and is just all around more likable and less cool. I bring this up because Heathcliff has something Garfield does not, his own Marvel Universe. In 1985, Marvel's Star Comics imprint began publishing Heathcliff comics featuring such original ideas as Heathcliff but more Hollywood and what if Heathcliff in space? The original comic, simply titled Heathcliff, ran for 56 issues and was followed up with a spin-off called Heathcliff's Funhouse in 1987. Heathcliff's reality was designated as Earth 85481 in the official handbook of the Marvel Universe and includes only the comic books and not the show or any other Heathcliff media. Subscribe below for more comic stuff.